Good evening to you. Welcome to the South Siren Pentecostal Church uh, midweek service. My name is Troy Seabright and I'm the pastor here in South Siren, just in case you're uh, new to uh, tuning in to us. But we're uh, looking forward to a time of worship tonight, a time of devotion. We've got a couple of uh, requests that were requested last week and I got those ready um, for a little bit later on. But we'll start off with that one, wherever I am, I'll praise him. And whenever I can, I'll praise him. For his love surrounds me like a sea. And I'll praise the name of Jesus and lift up the name of Jesus. For the name of Jesus has lifted me. We'll give, give people a chance to get signed in. And, and by all means, just send us a little comment there saying where you're watching from or, or whatever. If there's any prayer requests, uh, feel free to, to pass them along and um, we'll be sure to, to look for them towards the end of the service. God bless you. Wherever I am, I'll praise him whenever I can. I'll praise him for his love Surrounds me like a sea I'll praise the name of Jesus Lift up the name of Jesus For the name of Jesus lifted me Wherever I am I'll praise him whenever I can I'll praise him for his love Surrounds me like a sea I'll praise the name of Jesus Lift up the name of Jesus For the name of Jesus lifted me Wherever I am I'll praise him whenever I can I'll praise him for his love Surrounds me like a sea I'll praise the name of Jesus Lift up the name of Jesus For the name of Jesus lifted me Wherever I am I'll praise him whenever I can I'll praise him for his love Surrounds me like a sea I'll praise the name of Jesus Lift up the name of Jesus For the name of Jesus lifted me Amen well, good to see you folks tuning in, tuning in tonight. Glad to have, have each of you there. So we had quite the announcement there from, from the government today. And uh, I'm sure that everybody is quite concerned over that. So as we open up in prayer tonight, I'm going to uh, uh, ask that we remember our, our leaders. Uh, Andrew Fury and Dr. Fitzgerald and Minister Hagee. Uh, it can't be easy doing that. And of course our, our church leaders as well in head office there. You know, it's, it's not easy doing this. Um, it's the first time for all of us to be, be going through all of this. So we definitely need to be pulling together as, as a church and as a body of believers and uh, praying together and, and to remember each other and uh, to have faith in our leaders as well. So let's bow our hearts together in prayer wherever we are. Heavenly Father, I thank you tonight, Lord, for, for these people that have decided to join in for a, a time of worship in the middle of the week. And Father, of course, we... We heard the, the announcements today from our government leaders. And of course, Lord, there has to be worry and fear starting to creep into people's hearts. 
But Lord, you did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Well, Father, you know the end from the beginning. Lord, you know how all this is going to turn out, Lord, and we trust in you. And Father, we look to you in faith, knowing that you have our best interests in mind. Father, we love you. And Father, we pray for our leaders tonight. Lord, you, you know what they're up against. Lord, I pray that you will minister to them. Lord, give them the wisdom for the hour that is needed. Lord, we pray for our church leaders. Lord, I pray that we will be in touch with your Holy Spirit and to know what needs to happen for this hour. Father, we give you thanks and we give you praise because nothing is too difficult for you. Now, Father, we pray for those that are sick and, and suffering tonight, Lord. Father, I pray that you will minister to each one of those needs. We're praying for Sister Pauline, who's still in, in the hospital. Father, we, we see that there's so much improvement in her, and we give you all the glory for that. Now, Father, we, we look forward to the day where she walks into her, her home church, wanting to praise you along with her brothers and sisters. And Lord, I pray tonight as we, we worship you and to look into your word for just a little while, Lord, I pray that your will will be done. Lord, I pray that your Holy Spirit will minister to hearts tonight like never before. And Lord, we give you all these things in your name. Amen and amen. So the weather outside is uh, um, frightful, as the, as the <laughs> Christmas carol says. So we're hoping that the, uh, the internet signal is going to, going to hold up for us. But uh, we'll pray to God of having his way tonight. Let's put on a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Lift up your voice to God. Praise with, with the spirit and with understanding. And oh, all magnify the Lord. Play it in the right key, huh? Put on the garment of praise for that spirit of heaviness. Lift up your voice to God. Praise in the spirit and with understanding. Oh, magnify the Lord. Put on a garment of praise for that spirit of heaviness. Lift up your voice to God. Praise with the spirit and with understanding. Oh, magnify the Lord. Put on a garment of praise for that spirit of heaviness. Lift up your voice to God. Praise with the Spirit and with understanding. Oh, magnify the Lord. Put on a garment of praise for that spirit of heaviness. Lift up your voice to God. Praise with the Spirit and with understanding. Oh, magnify the Lord. Put on a garment of praise for that spirit of heaviness. Lift up your voice to God. Praise with the spirit and with understanding. Oh, magnify the Lord. Yeah, just in case you're just, just tuning in with us now, there were a few few requests put in last week, and uh, we'll get to them there a little bit later. But. He set me free. Once like a bird in prison I dwelt, and no freedom from my sorrow I felt, till Jesus came, amen, and listened to me. And glory to God, 
he set me free. Once like a bird in prison I dwelled, no freedom from my sorrow I felt, until Jesus came and listened to me. Glory to God, he set me free, he set me free, he set me free. He broke the bonds of prison for me. I'm glory bound, my Jesus, to see. Glory to God, He set me free. Once like a bird in prison I dwell, no freedom from my sorrow I felt. Till Jesus came and listened to me. Glory to God, He set me free. He set me free, He set me free. He broke the bonds of prison for me. I'm glory bound, my Jesus, to see. Glory to God, He set me free. He set me free. He set me free, He broke the bonds of prison for me, I'm glory bound by Jesus to see, glory to God, He set me free. Great and mighty is the Lord our God, great and mighty is He. Great and mighty is the Lord our God, great and mighty is He. Lift up the banner, let the anthems ring, praises to our King. Great and mighty is the Lord our God, great and mighty is He. Great and mighty is the Lord our God, great and mighty is He. Great and mighty is the Lord our God, great and mighty is He. Lift up the banner, let the anthems ring, praises to our King. Great and mighty is the Lord our God, great and mighty is He. Great and mighty is the Lord our God, great and mighty is Great and mighty is the Lord our God, great and mighty is He. Lift up the banner, let the anthems ring, praises to our King. Great and mighty is the Lord our God, great and mighty is He. conquered every foe by his name by his name will declare he's the Lord I will trust and not be afraid I will arise and go forth by his name I will arise and go forth in the name of the Lord of hosts, for he has conquered every foe. By his name, by his name, I will declare he is the Lord. I will trust and not be afraid, I will arise and go forth. By his name. Amen. That's certainly a good, good way to praise the Lord Jesus tonight. I will arise and go forth in the name 
of the Lord of hosts. For he has conquered every foe, a man including COVID-19, by his name. And I will declare he is the Lord. I will trust a man and not be afraid. I will arise and go forth. I will arise and go forth in the name of the Lord of hosts, for he has conquered every foe by his name, by his name. I will declare he is the Lord. I will trust and not be afraid. I will arise and go forth by his name i will arise and go forth in the name of the lord of hosts for he has conquered every foe by his name by his name will trust he's the lord I will trust and not be afraid. I will arise and go forth by his name. Amen. Amen. There's one hymn here that's on my mind. I'm going to move that off the end live video button just in case I strike that by mistake. Praise God. Grace greater than our sin. Marvelous grace of our loving Lord. Grace that exceeds our sin and our guilt. Yonder on Calvary's mount outpoured, there where the blood of the Lamb was spilled. Verse number four says, Marvelous, infinite, matchless grace, freely bestowed on all who believe. You that are longing to see his face, will you this moment his grace receive? That's beautiful. Grace, grace, God's grace. Grace that will pardon and cleanse within. And grace that is greater and all of our sin. We'll sing this one through and then we'll have a little devotional and we'll continue on with our worship then afterwards. Marvelous grace of our loving Lord Grace that exceeds our sin and our guilt Yonder on Calvary's mount outpour There we blood of the Lamb was filled. Grace, grace, God's grace, grace that will pardon and cleanse within. Grace, grace, God's grace, grace that is greater than all our sins. Sin and despair like the sea waves cold Threatens the soul with infinite loss Grace that is greater, yes, grace outpour Points to the refuge, the mighty cross Grace, grace, God that will pardon and cleanse with him. Grace, grace, God's grace, grace that is greater than all my sin. Dark is the stain that we cannot hide. What can avail to wash it away? Lord, there is flowing a crimson tide, whiter than snow you may be today. Grace, grace, God. 
Just a little devotional little look at, we're continuing our look at Psalms 32. Last week we began and we just introduced Psalms 32 and I gave a little bit of a, an explanation, okay, on how forgiveness is made possible, is made possible through the blood of Jesus. We looked at how we are able to access this forgiveness is by faith in Jesus and what he has done at Calvary and how we are guaranteed this forgiveness by the word of God himself in scripture. Tonight I want to start breaking it down just a little bit and start focusing on section by section and I also gave out an idea last time about having you consider what forgiveness means to you as an individual. And I'll be sharing my, uh, my take on forgiveness here tonight as well. God bless you, Reg, for tuning in. Marie and Betty. God bless you there. Just want to make sure I never missed any prayer requests or anything before I went any farther. So we were looking at the first two verses of Psalms 32 there. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord does not impute iniquity and in whose spirit there is no deceit. Now David starts off this psalm with an atmosphere of joy that is in his heart because of a clean conscience. He looks at the person that has their sins and transgressions forgiven and he considers them blessed. So what does it really mean to be blessed? We hear that a lot, quite often in scriptures. Thomas Nelson defines blessed as one who acquires God's favor. And Erdman's Bible Dictionary defines the act of blessing somebody as bestowing goodness and favor. So here in the beginning of this Psalm, David is describing the one who has their sins forgiven as being recognized with God's favor and God's goodness. In the book of Romans, Paul quotes these first couple of verses from Psalm 32 
when he's talking about justification in, in chapter 4 of Romans. Romans 4 verses 5 through 8 tells us, But to him who does not work but believes on him who justifies the ungodly, his faith is accounted for righteousness. Just as David also described the blessedness, now he's referring to Psalms 32. He describes the blessedness of the man to whom God imputes righteousness apart from works. Blessed are those whose lawless deeds are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord shall not impute sin. Our faith in the Lord Jesus is encountered, accounted to us for righteousness and at the same time stands us in the position of being forgiven of our sins and being blessed of God. It makes no wonder the psalm is called the joy of forgiveness. Now what forgiveness means to me? As I mentioned last week about forgiveness and also includes forgetting. For one is not really totally forgiven unless the issue is truly forgotten about. So forgiveness to me is the state of being freed, okay, of any future condemnation if it was not forgotten about. Paul speaks about this in Romans 8 and 1, and I'm sure we all know this one. Therefore, there is no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. For you cannot be condemned for something that is forgotten about. The joy of forgiveness lets us live in a freedom from being condemned over things that may have happened in the past. Okay? Let me repeat that. The joy of forgiveness lets us live in a freedom from being condemned over things that may have happened in the past. When we start to live a life serving the Lord, we start off with a clean slate and all the old things and the old way of life are done away with and we get a fresh start. That is where this joy and the freedom of our new life is. There's, there's so many times that things seem to, be, to get brought back up by other people that don't understand the newness of life. And yes, that can be hard to deal with at times. And yes, it can be hurtful. But it is God who we have to stand in front of someday and give account for the way that we live. And he does not hold things against us. That is what forgiveness means to me. This is where my joy and my freedom lies. You know, the positive side of having people bring up things from the past is that it allows us an opportunity to explain the concept of forgiveness to them. Yes, I may have done things that have been wrong, you know, just like anybody else, but I'm living proof that Jesus forgives those types of things. Blessed is he whose transgressions is forgiven, whose sin a man is covered. Blessed is the man whom the Lord does not impute iniquity and in whose spirit is no deceit. And you know, there may be days that you may find that it's a little hard to let go of things that have happened. That's human. But bad memories may flood back into your mind. And yes, I can agree that some things are hard to forget. And sometimes it's a daily effort to cast off those things. 
I'm sure we can agree that sin has a nasty grip that seems to not want to let go. But it's at times like that we can look to God's word and stand on the truth that there is therefore now no condemnation to those that live in Christ Jesus. When we're reminded of past sins, whether it's from somebody else bringing it up or from a bad memory from the past, we can rebuke that. So no, I'm forgiven and I refuse to accept any condemnation for what was done in the old life. Because I'm now a new creation in Christ Jesus. Old things are passed away. All things are made new. That's the power of forgiveness. Is the power that resists sin's grip on you and keeps you free to serve the Lord with gladness and with joy and to walk in freedom. Blessed is he whose transgressions are forgiven. Isn't that beautiful? Forgiveness is such a beautiful aspect of being saved or salvation through Jesus. had a few requests and I didn't see any any prayer requests there so we'll continue on here This one was requested last week and verse number one says, more than fame, wealth or desire, more than all this world's attire, more than anything in my life, I've got to make it. Take my possessions, great or small, Friends or family, you take them all. More than anything in my life, I've got to make it. And of course, there's more than anything in my life, I've got to make it. I've got to know my name's inscribed in the Lamb's Book of Life. I want to hear him say, well done. Enter in, my child, you've won. More than anything in my life, I've got to make it. Well, God bless you as we sing this one together a few times more than fame wealth or desire more than all this world's attire more than anything in my life I've got to make it take my possessions great or small friends or family you take them all more than anything my life I've got to make it more than anything in my life I've got to make it I've got to know my name's inscribed in the land Book of life, I want to hear him say, Well done, enter in, my child, you've won more than anything in my life. I've got to make it what with all I've come to know. I'll gain this world but lose my soul More than anything in my life I've got to make it I can run and keep the pace 
Then I'll see his blessed face more than anything in my life. I've got to make it more than anything in my life. I've got to make it. I've got to know my name's inscribed in the Lamb's book of life. I want to hear him say, well done, enter in, my child you've won. More than anything in my life, I've got to make it. More than anything in my life, I've got to make it. I've got to know my name's inscribed in the Lamb's book of life. I want to hear him say, well done, enter in, my child you've won. More than anything in my life, I've got to make it. More than fame, wealth, or desire, more than all this world's attire, more than anything in my life, I've got to make it. Take my possessions, great or small. Friends or family, you take them all. More than anything in my life, God to make it. More than anything in my life, I've got to make it. I've got to know. My name's inscribed in the Lamb's book of life. I want to hear him say, well done, enter in. My child, you've won more than anything in my life. I've got to make it. When I climb to the top of the mountain And I view God's promised land I was never alone in the valley I was kept by a mighty strong hand I was kept by a mighty strong hand. I was kept by a mighty strong hand. Every mile that I travel through this troublesome land, I was kept by a mighty strong hand. When I take my first step in that city And I walk down that heavenly strand I will only thank my God that I made it I was kept by a mighty strong hand I was kept by a mighty strong hand I was kept by a mighty strong hand Every mile that I travel through this troublesome land I was kept by a mighty
pray that's our our prayer to be a sanctuary pure and holy for the Lord Jesus Got a few more here that I want to uh, want to share with you This one says, let me thank you again, Lord Jesus, for saving me from all that I might have been. Let me thank you again, Lord Jesus. First verse says, well, you gave me a brand new beginning when you freed me from all of my guilt and shame. And you gave me new reasons for living. And I just want to thank you again. The second verse says, from worry and fear, I've been set free. Now I have new peace within. Your spirit strengthens me, strengthens and guides me. And I just want to thank you again. I want to sing this one through, wherever you are. If you're just by yourself or your, your spouse with you or whatever. I pray that you'll just enter into this. It's not the same as being together. Of course, we've, we've always, we always say that. But I pray that you'll take some time with us now and just to thank Jesus for what he has saved us from and what he is keeping us from now today because we're under his blood. We're saved by his grace. We can't help but thank him and thank him, and thank him again. Let me thank you again, Lord Jesus, for saving me from all I might have been. Let me thank you again, Lord Jesus, let me thank you, let me thank you again. Well, you gave me a brand new beginning when you freed me from all my guilt and shame. 
And you gave me new reason for living. Let me thank you, thank you again. Let me thank you again, Lord Jesus, for saving me. From all I might have been Let me thank you again Lord Jesus Let me thank you Thank you again From worry and fear I've been set free, and now I have peace within. Your spirit strengthens and guides me. Let me thank you, thank you. Let me thank you again, Lord Jesus, for saving me from all I might have been. Let me thank you again, Lord Jesus. Let me thank you. Thank you again. Let me thank you again, Lord Jesus, for saving me from all I might have been. Let me thank you again, Lord Jesus. Let me thank you, thank you again. From worry and fear, I've been set free. And now I have new peace within. Oh, your spirit strengthens and guides me. Let me thank you, thank you again. Let me thank you again, Lord Jesus, for saving me from all I might have been. Let me thank you again, Lord Jesus. Let me thank you, thank you again. Amen. <clears throat> This next one here is a, an absolute, absolute beautiful number based on the prodigal son and how he made his decision to come back to the father's house. And the course says it's over now, I'm going home. It's over now, it won't be long. This, the prison of my past couldn't hold me. I'm free at last. My father, I see him now waiting for me. 
it's over now. It's beautiful. I pray there's a blessing to you tonight. And I, I pray that the Holy Spirit will speak to your heart. And sing this song. God bless you. And I look back to yesterday and upon many years I wasted. Think about the many nights of hunger I spent out in the cold. I remember warming by the fire at Father's house the food, and how it tasted. And think about the life I'm leading in needing love and love's back there at home. And it's over now. It's over, I'm going home And it's over now It won't be long The prison of my past Couldn't hold me, I'm free Free at last My father, I see him now waiting for me it's over now I can almost hear my father say Go kill the fatted calf Spread the table Then go and tell the singers to prepare To sing a welcome song Then bring the finest ring of gold With it bring the finest robe of sable to place upon the cold and weary shoulders of my child he's coming home and it's over now it's over I'm going home and it's over now and it won't the prison of my past Couldn't hold me, I'm free, free at last My father, I see him now waiting for me It's over now It's over now It's over, I'm going And it's over now And it won't be long The prison of my past Couldn't hold me, I'm free Free at last My father, I see him now waiting for me And it's over now I look back to yesterday and upon the many years I've wasted. And I think about those many nights of hunger I spent out in the cold. I remember warming by the fire at Father's house the food and how it tasted. And think about the life I'm leading is needing love And love's back there at home And it's over now It's over, I'm going home It's over now And I won't be long prison of my past couldn't hold me I'm free free at last my father I see him now waiting for me and it's over now you can almost hear my father saying oh kill the fatted calf and spread the table then go and tell the singers to prepare To sing a welcome song 
Then bring the finest ring of gold, and with it bring the finest robe of sable to place upon the cold and weary shoulders of my child. He's coming home. It's over now. It's over. I'm going home. It's over now. And I won't be long. The prison of my past couldn't hold me. I'm free, free at last. My father, I see him now waiting for me. It's over now. It's over now. It's over. I'm going home. It's over now. And I won't be long. The prison of my past. Couldn't hold me. I'm free, free at last. My father, I see him now waiting for me. It's over now. Praise God. It's over now. Prison of my past couldn't hold me. I'm free at last. It's forgiveness. Knowing no matter what we've done, it's forgiven when we call upon the Lord Jesus and totally forgotten about. I pray that tonight has been a blessing to you and Try to scroll through here now and see if there was any prayer requests or anything that I may have missed. God bless all of you for tuning in and staying tuned in. I appreciate the comments as well. see any prayer requests but there's a few people in our local assembly that's not feeling well so we'll continue to pray for them and uh, and of course as I, I mentioned earlier with the announcement today from the government and all that you know some things in around the Avalon and metro area are starting to shut down and, and uh, a few companies and some churches and that out around Bay Roberts and Carbonier are, are following suit with that, just as, as a precaution. And uh, we appreciate their, their choice of wisdom at this time. And we'll, uh, we'll continue on to pray with faith believing. And even if you do know somebody who do get the virus, we're gonna we pray the prayer of faith that <clears throat> God will restore them and heal them completely from it. Heavenly Father, thank you tonight for this time of worship together. Father, I thank you for each person that took time to be together like this. And Lord, there may be unspoken requests. And Father, I pray you'll minister to each need. Lord, your presence was, was here today with us. And Father, we thank you for the joy that we have through forgiveness. We are saved, we are redeemed, justified, we are bought with a price, we are forgiven, and we are loved. And Father, how can we ever thank you enough for all that you've done for us? Father, we love you tonight. Lord, if there's anybody here that's 
not serving you, maybe not even sure if they're, they're right with you. Lord, I pray that when they, they pray along with us, that they will ask you for forgiveness and ask you to come into their hearts so that they can start that new relationship, that new life, and start off with a clean slate because everything, all the sins in the past, have been forgiven and forgotten. Father, we give you all the praise and all the glory for everything that you've done. In your precious name, amen and amen. Well, God bless each of you. I pray that you'll have a blessed week and uh, good Lord willing, we'll, uh, we'll see you again next Thursday and uh, we'll keep, uh, keep each other up to date with the, the government announcements and uh, we'll see how things go from there. So God bless you. Take care and we'll see you again soon.